All pedal, no gas. All right. Just keep an eye on this as we go. Thank you. Hey, everybody. We're back again outside of SEMA with Kevin here, and he has his own modified car that he's going to tell us about right now. And it seems to be electric. It seems to be powerful and liquid-cooled throughout the car. But I'm just guessing from what I saw. I'm going to ask him uh, what he's got here. So this is my 1972 Plymouth Satellite. I call it Electrolyte. Ooh. This is a fully Tesla powered car. It's got a uh, Model S P100D drivetrain with wow. just the rear motor, no front motor. I no wanted, front? To, wanted to keep it muscle car. So oh, it's there we go. rear drive, no traction control, uh, just all the torque, just just making it so fun it, like a muscle car. Front end just pops up. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. nice. I, this is a full build. So I used a, the whole Model S subframe in the rear, cantilever okay. suspension. Yeah. Um, and then the, the balance, it's a little heavier now. It's 4,300 pounds. Yes. A little, about 300 pounds heavier than a big block car. Yeah. But it's 55% rear weight. So we're getting into the sports car category of handling now. Oh, okay. And, uh, and that's 600 pounds lighter than the Tesla I pulled the parts out of. So this thing's just flying. It's a beast. Oh my God. Yeah. And what do you have up in the front cab here? So the, the battery, truck. what I did is I repackaged the battery from the Model S. Yes. Uh, I wanted it to be a bolt-in kit. I've, mm -hmm. I've cut very little on this car and it can go right back to what it was. So okay. in the front, I've got 10 of the 16 battery modules from a Model S. The remaining six are in the rear. Mm -hmm. uh, the tricky part about the battery is you have to contain them in a, uh, a way that will handle the forces of the car. Yeah. You also have to keep them healthy, so they're liquid managed. Um, that's heating, mm -hmm. cooling, and chilling. It, 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 on the hottest of days, it'll turn on the air conditioner and chill the batteries uh, below ambient temperatures. Oh wow, that's great. And where do you have your sensors placed for this? So um, the temp sensors are in line, in the return line mm -hmm. of the, uh, the coolant system. Mm -hmm. Those are CAN bus temp sensors. It's all run through the Holly SmartWire um, power distribution module. So that's all okay. programmed to just uh, be fully automatic. You don't even have to think about it. Wow. And what kind of uh, operating system do you have in it? Is it just bare bones or yeah, how are so you connecting it to the car? That's a good question. The um, The batteries are kind of one thing. In addition to the, the thermal management, it's got uh, battery management. So you're talking mm -hmm. about the, the amperage and the voltage yeah. and uh, keeping them healthy that way. Mm -hmm. That's a, a standalone computer. Yeah. I monitor that on a tablet in the dash. Mm -hmm. The other side of it is how do you run the Tesla computer, the yeah. motor. Uh, that uses an intermediate um, box that uh, communicates over CAN bus mm -hmm. and that makes it usable outside of a Tesla. So yeah. really all I took from a Tesla was their tuning because their inverter tuning is mm -hmm. spot on. Yeah. We're using the tuning and the torque. Everything else is just aftermarket and kind of raw. Wow, okay. And then you're just balancing everything, seeing how it works and then implementing it? Yeah, um, you know, it's this is a car that I could tell you how to turn it on, and mm -hmm. you could drive it and plug it in, and I wouldn't have to tell you anything else. No learning curve. No learning curve, except for how much power it has. Okay. Uh, if you haven't yeah. driven a powerful car, this yeah. thing, it rips. How, how many uh, pounds of torque does it have, and how many uh, horsepower? It's 600 horsepower, mm -hmm. um, and then the torque is somewhere between 900 and 1,000 at the tire. I did not expect it that high. It... And I should have. I should have seen it coming. Right, I should have. Right. I'm actually speechless right now. This is incredible. And the box that you have this in, yeah. is it? Uh, um, what's the glass that you have in there? And then the, is it like housed within? A, You're thinking along the lines I was. You know, yeah. how, how is this going to stay put? Yes. Yeah. So I've got this mounted. I custom built the uh, the K member below with mm -hmm. it's got electric power steering. So everything yeah. is slightly different than a, a, a gas powered mm -hmm. car. But these boxes are uh, structurally sound. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show them off because nobody gets to see how beautiful the Tesla batteries are. Yeah. It, it looks like I chromed and, and polished these battery it's just cells. just open and beautiful. Yeah, so yeah. I had to show them. There's no way I was going to cover those up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a beaut, man. It's a beaut in here. And I'm going to get some shots of the inside because we definitely have to see that. Yeah. Uh, what do you have? Anything encroaching on the trunk space? Yep, so yeah. I, um, I can only fit 10 of the batteries here. Yeah. There's six more in the trunk, and those are enclosed because I wanted a usable trunk. Yeah. That's what got my weight and balance just perfect, 55% rear, because okay. the batteries plus the motor in the rear, yeah. it's just the perfect balance. And so, zero to 60, what are we talking here? We're at well under four seconds. 
Man, and this is your first build like this? First or? electric build, yeah. First electric build? Yeah. Man, I, you put a lot of that knowledge to use on this. I, I did a lot of thinking. I, I was only going to go all the way. Yeah. Uh, I knew it would be a lot of work, a lot of time. I had to learn it. No middle road? No way. Yeah. No, I was only going the biggest battery, the biggest motor, mm -hmm. because the work is the same. So yeah. you might as well get the, the most. Dude, it's, it's like Detroit Muscle meets 2038. Yeah, you know? right? Yeah. yeah. This is incredible. This was my favorite car. That's why I built this body. This yeah. was totally intentional. Mm -hmm. um, and what I thought this car needed was the pro touring stance. So mm -hmm. I, I did the staggered yeah. wheels, the 20s in the back, the 19s in the front. Yeah. Big tires on all four corners. I've and when this, when this is closed, you think it's just a pro touring car. Nobody knows this is electric. Yeah. Um, and that's what I wanted, muscle car. It's factory appearing interior, except for the heated seats. Yeah. It's got air conditioning, it's got heat. It's mm -hmm. it's a fully daily drivable, just beast of a car. All the creature comforts. All of it, yeah. Okay, man. This is definitely a beautiful car, and we have people, as we're talking, going up to it because they get tunnel vision yeah. staring at your car. It's it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And it's completely done, nothing else to do to it? Or no, is I, this, have I'm, you reached your dream with this? I'm, I'm there. There's one thing I thought of during this show, and I want to add a, an air-conditioned chiller for the motor cooling loop, because there's two cooling okay. loops. Yeah. This is the motor side, this is the battery side. Yeah. If I'm going to start drag racing it, um, I can, ch can pre-chill the motor using my air conditioner, which is already installed. That would be a great idea. So how, when you take it to the track, do you, can you run it like back to back oh, or yeah. do you tend to take a little break? No, you can run it as hard as you want. The Tesla mm -hmm. software in the inverter will limit yeah. itself if it gets to any kind of uh, oh, wow. high temperature. And do you have a system inside with a tablet or anything that you could read through? Yep. Yeah. yeah um, the whole car will function off of two tablets or you can add an iPad if you really want to get into data logging and everything else. And the, oh, wow. the two tablets are the dash. Uh, I think I, I can monitor every cell in the battery, which there's 96 cells. I can wow. see all 96 cells on one page. Mm -hmm. I can monitor amperage in and out, um, temperatures, voltages, everything. This is one of the most impressive builds I've seen here because the name of the game this year, the, the name of the game this year has been the uh, modified cars. They have the Bronco inside and they have a couple others. This one, I gotta say, might be my favorite. Oh, I it appreciate might be that. my favorite. Yeah, it, this it's my favorite nice. too. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And because they, you heard, uh, Ford is selling their motor now. Yep. Yeah, but I feel that this one just has, I don't know, it has like a, a feel to it that you know, I'm I'm looking forward to that motor. Yeah, me too. My dad is planning on getting that motor and putting it in something, yeah. but. I do like the route you took with this, and I'm impressed. I have to say. Thanks. Just you got you got to check out the suspension. You know, I used the whole rear uh, end of a Model S underneath, yes. but there's a cantilever suspension in the trunk, so yeah. um, I can tune it all from the trunk. It stays clean. And, and you could change it in the ride. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Man, that is really cool. When you drive it normally. Uh, is it more of a stiff ride, or does it give a little bit? It's because like a for it's the a, weight. It's a sport about. tuned ride. You can yeah. feel the weight, yeah. but it almost feels like it's an advantage. Mm. You know, it feels so solid, so sure footed. Yeah. You point the car the way you want to go, and it's going. It's just a rocket. It's just a rocket. Man, this yeah. is cool. And how does it handle? It handles like uh, like you would hope. You mm -hmm. know, the, the steering with the power steering, yeah. I can. Uh, it's variable pressure. So if yeah. I want pinky steering in a parking lot. Or if I want to stiffen it up on a road course, you yeah. know, you, it's whatever you want. So it, it's, yeah. it always just seems to be right. It's what you would hope when you're driving. Yeah. Whatever you yeah. want. Okay, so what we're looking at here, this is the Torque app. This is a very popular Torque Pro app. Anybody can download and you can use your, it with your car. But in my case, all this data is from the battery management system. I've got GPS speed. I know how many amps I'm drawing. I've got my pack voltage, state of charge, high and low temps, high and low voltages. And we can go even deeper. We can look at every cell in the battery. That's 96 cells all in one page. So if I wow. see some string more than uh, they should, I can pinpoint pinpoint what module that is and I can swap it out or service it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got two screens here. This screen would be the uh, rear view camera, entertainment, uh, moving map, anything else that you would want. Mm -hmm. uh, I 3D printed my Prindle here. That's uh, um, you know, so we have a, a neutral light. If we were going to go into uh, forward or reverse, there's drive, there's reverse. Um, I also have switches for uh, regen, on and off, uh, neutral. And then I have a lower panel. I wanted it very driver centric. So everything down here is for the driver. I've got my power windows, Bluetooth stereo, various lights, uh, line lock, 
Um, and then we've got our thermostat and our PWM control for the uh, the AC compressor. I, if it's a moderately warm day, I can run the compressor at a lower speed and just uh, draw fewer amps. But on a hot day, you crank it up and it'll just keep you cool. Wow. And the ride looks leather seating. Yeah, these are just... he heated leather seats. Yeah. It also has an electric heater core. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, the air conditioning. Um, this is a, a daily drivable, comfortable car. I've, I have a family of five, so we all go, kids in the back. I've been driving it all summer. Oh, this fantastic. is the original dash I had recovered. Um, actually, the original instruments are still in here. My instrument panel consists of tablets, and I can just pop those out. They're, uh, it's just a regular tablet. They wirelessly charge in the dash. Oh, may I take a look at that? Yeah, so that's the wireless charger behind the scenes. And it mounts with magnets? Uh, no, I 3D printed these mounts. Oh, I see them there, yes. Yep. Wow. Uh, and the reason I did tablets is because they're upgradable. Uh, replaceable you know instruments are so expensive and mm -hmm. you sometimes your tastes change you want to upgrade so but this allowed me to keep the factory wiper switch the headlights the HVAC um, everything as factory as possible other than the rockers for the drive man I think you found the secret sauce here yeah this is this is it, this is amazing yeah this is well done maybe oh, we take, check out the trunk yeah let's go check it out so like I mentioned before, with the, the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, repackaging it, 10 of the modules are under the hood, there's six more in this box. Um, all these boxes, you have to equally cool all of the batteries. So each box has a built-in cooling manifold. All three of those manifolds run in parallel flow. So all 32 cooling loops are equally uh, flowing throughout the battery. And then something a lot of people don't realize is I still need a 12 volt battery. It's still got a lead acid battery because all of the car functions, even the computers, run off of 12 volts. But the charger has a DC DC converter built into it. It takes 400 volts from the battery pack, charges it just like an alternator would. So right now the battery's sitting at about 13.8 volts. Wow. This is, this is amazing. And what do you have in this box here? So in this box, anything orange in an electric car is dangerous. So. Um, because it's the high voltage. So inside this box are the high voltage contactors, high voltage bus bars, um, and there's also a service switch. I can disconnect the, the high voltage with this switch and it's positioned in a place I can have an external cutoff if I'm at the track. Mm -hmm. And do you have anything that covers all of this so that I, you'd be able to use it as a trunk? Absolutely, yeah, I've got a full cover, but we kept it open for the show because everybody wants to see the guts. Oh, definitely, yeah. No, nothing about this car is fake. It's all function. I didn't want it to look like a fake engine. Mm -hmm. I didn't like fake sound. I just wanted everybody to see this is what an EV looks like. And if you look close behind my suspension, that's all of the EV wiring. I've got high voltage contactors. I've got, this is the battery management computer all of the battery management wires, the charger, uh, everything is serviceable and uh, out in the open. So you can kind of show people what it does. Yeah, and if you ever need to do any work, it's easier to get to than most other cars. Yeah, absolutely. You can see that cantilever suspension, that came out of necessity. Once I bolted up the Model S subframe underneath, mm -hmm. I didn't have room for coils under the car. Uh, mm -hmm. Underneath, it's all aluminum subframe, aluminum independent suspension. But uh, this, you know, it worked out and it's cool to look at too. I really like it. Yeah. So this is a Plymouth satellite, but uh, it's an electric car, so we have to charge it. So if you look down at the license plate, it says charger, that's where we plug in. Uh -huh. And then we just... Uh, what is the voltage that you get on this for a charge? Uh, the a full charge is about 400 volts. 400 wow. volts? And how long does it charge up the battery? If it was all the way drained down, you're looking at eight to 10 hours. This is a level two standard car charger, mm -hmm. but the uh, the battery, um, I don't usually take it down all the way. So you're looking at 50%, so you charge up in you know four or five hours. Mm -hmm. So from, from hub to hub, all Tesla again. So these are Tesla brakes made by Brembo. We've also got an electric parking brake um, that locks the rotor. So your parking brake, it, it's very solid. Mm -hmm. These are 285 uh, Nitto tires on 20 inch wheels, double adjustable coilovers. Okay. And everything the steer from the steering to uh, power is adjustable? Everything's from adjustable. The car. Yeah. Wow.
All right, well, I want to thank you for showing us your wonderful ride. This thing's amazing. How long did it take you to put this all together? Uh, it was about a year, ha year and a half. I mm -hmm. built it in my garage. Um, I was able to spend five to six days a month on it and yeah. uh, just get out there and grind, you know, 10 hour days and it, it came together. Yeah, man, it's it's beautiful. Time well spent. Thank you. Time well spent. I appreciate it. I can't. So, do I put in my order for it now or yeah, there's Christmas? You know, there's a bit of a wait list now, so uh, all yeah, right, you better get it in soon. I bet. I bet. All right. Well, thank you for showing us this, and good luck to you. Thanks. Now, does it have an air suspension too that pops no, up? No, just coilovers. Yeah, just coilovers. Uh, double adjustable coilovers.